Well, I'm here in Pollock Pines and I've been talking with people here at the Shell gas station and that panic is beginning to set in. Take a look, just lines and lines of cars trying to get in and get gas. I spoke to one woman. She tells me this is the last place where you are able to fuel up your car and get those last essential needs. Safeway is across the way here as well and the parking lot of the grocery store is packed. People are trying to get out of Dodge, but get those resources before they head down 50. When I was driving up this area, it was a line of cars. Traffic is packed, but take a look to my right. You can see the sky from where we're standing. Authorities tell me that the fire is only a mile away from this location. That gray smoky sky in the air. People trying to get those last resources at this gas station here in Pollock Pines. The sheriff is navigating the traffic on the intersection when you get onto the highway, telling people to go either left or right, trying to get them out of this area safely. But you can see the wind is starting to blow here as well. That is not a good sign for fire crews. Again, that fire is only a mile away from where we're at. I spoke with one woman here who said she is filling up. Her father is disabled. She could not get her cats out. She had to pack up her family immediately, and she's worried that she won't be able to return to anything if this fire ever gets any containment. So while that panic is beginning to set in for people here in Pollock Pines, but the lines here are moving pretty fast, but they are long. People are trying to get that gas as they head into town, not knowing when they'll be able to return to their homes. But take a look at this wind. It's moving pretty fast. It's moving these flags and the trees are yep. are moving. I was speaking with authorities earlier and they said to wish them luck as they try to fight this fire and get some containment around it. I'm going to send it back to you all in the studio.